going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Karen Radio Host Cancels Rapper for Supporting Trump. Now, I don't do too much political stuff, but one thing that I will say is you got your own beliefs, you got your own. So the fact that you're canceling somebody for voting for someone is quite stupid. But that may not be the video. Without that being said, let's get started. Yee What's popping, y'all? Today, uh -huh. we've got Goofy of the Week. Okay. So, make sure to follow my boy, Yellow Hasmine, extras. But yeah, my bad. Channel link will be in the description. Absolute, not even, this isn't even Goofy. This is really despicable behavior. And it's by none other than Rosenberg from Hot 97. Ebro, I think his take here was... I don't know if he agreed directly with Rosenberg, but he clearly doesn't like Trump. So brief overview. What happened mm -hmm. was Trump was doing a rally in the South Bronx. So he I was actually that. out there in the hood in New York City doing a rally. He got a lot of support. And Chef G and Sleepy Hollow, two of the bigger rappers, I think most talented rappers that have come out of New York since 2019, 20. More so they popped off in 2020. I like sleepy hollow more i think he's more versatile but these guys they came out endorsed trump i'll play you guys the video clip right now one thing i want to say they always gonna whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures let me give you four reasons why this i'm gonna give you one but yeah this shit's stupid already trump gonna shout the wins for all of us Make America great again. So they come in, endorse Trump, and then what does Rosenberg do? Rosenberg has such disgusting behavior because this isn't the first time. So this is what Rosenberg says. <laughs> Sleepy Hollow, you could tell, was, and I'm not giving him a pass. I'm disgusted. Hit him both with the button. As far as I'm concerned, I, I hit everybody at the station. Let's pull him off Summer Jam. I just want y'all to know that is me, Karen Rosenberg. <laughs> I don't want him on Karen Summer Jam. Karen Rosenberg. But, oh so, God, no, Rosenberg. Li I, listen, put a face to it. I don't want him on Summer Jam. But oh just God. to be clear, he's laughing through that. You, you can't tell it's a big joke to him, which to me makes it in some ways even worse. But like that, make America great again. He could barely hold himself together from laughing. <laughs> yeah, he was laughing. What kind of endorsement is that, bro? Well, that's the other part of it. Congrats. The fact that Donald Trump was like, "Yeah, bring, oh yeah, yeah, yeah bring what, what rappers you got from New York City." No, that you know, I'm, yo, here's another thing I'm doing. I'm hitting a reporter friend of mine who's like a really good journalist. And I'm telling him, someone's got to go try to figure out, like a real journalist needs to do the work to figure out what the story is behind these things happening. Okay. So because, keep in mind, Chef G and Sleepy Hollow have been accused of wild stuff. Gang stuff, killing people. Chef G was just in jail. Chef G was on a high-speed chase and crashing into people before he got caught by the police and then brought to jail. So this guy could have killed people. None of that would have gotten him removed off of Summer Jam harming other people's property, putting other people's lives in danger, potentially having killed other people, no. But the fact that Chef G and or Sleepy Hollow are also potentially running a gang or... I think they're... Are they facing Rico charges? I don't know. Potentially running a gang too. No problems with that, with Rosenberg. However, if you decide to endorse Trump, he's phoning everybody. He's like, yo, let's pull them off of Summer Jam. I just... I hate people like... What? Yeah, let's let's talk about that. It's just so he did all that stuff, and you didn't want to pull him off for that. But just because he he helped Trump at a rally or some some stuff, you gonna pull him off for that, nigga? You, nigga, what? Like really? Just because you don't have the same viewpoint as him, or just because you don't support the same? You fucking weird. That's what you are? You're fucking weird weirdo man it's just such it's behavior that's so slimy and weaselly because rosenberg is the exact person that's hey if you're doing what i like and what i agree with you're cool but if you're not then there's something wrong with you 
and even the way that he says it, it's so patronizing. Like, oh, yeah, you could just look at Chef G's face, man. He, he couldn't even contain the laughter. He thought this was goofy. What about the potential reality that Chef G and Sleepy Hollow were actually really excited? This is probably the biggest look that they've gotten in their career in terms of, hey, we're being recognized and reached out to by not only a former president, but we're on a campaign trail. Like, this is a big deal to us. And you're kind of like knocking their moment like, oh, yeah, they're looking at it like this isn't Travis Scott. These guys are number one. They came up independent. No major label backing. Hot 97 wasn't really backing them. When have we ever really seen Ebro and Rosenberg talking about them a lot? Keep in mind, if this is the case, if Rosenberg has mentioned these guys a couple of times positively, let me know because I don't follow Hot 97. I'm not trying to hear what any of them have to say. All due respect to Ebro, though. I do, while I do disagree with a lot of Ebro's take, the guys put in his sweat equity. The guys, he's been doing the thing. So with Rosenberg, or let me circle back to Chef G and Sleepy Hollow, they actually responded to this. And I think it was such a classy response that they made Rosenberg look like the goofball. Keep in mind, these guys from the hood were part of gangs, were making drill music initially, went through so much, been to jail, been out of jail, versus Rosenberg, who grew up well off. Come on, we know his background. And they responded to this with more class and just put him to shame. So this is what they said in their IG story. Chef G said, damn, Thought we was free to vote for whoever we wanted. Mm. I never knew we had to have the same political opinion as Laura Stiles, Ebro, Rosenberg in order to gain success. Imagine that. Crazy thing is, throughout all my success, I never seen neither of y'all mention my name. Y'all sat silently and watched, lol, whisper. But as soon as something that y'all consider negative comes up, y'all quick to shout. Y'all the reason our generation is the way it is. I'm not even going to say no disrespectful stuff either. It's all love. How much... See, we need to have more people like this. We need to needs to be more people like this in the world who are just, you know, instead of taking a like trying to start a beef, just be this. Cause at the end of the day, everybody is free to do. It's a free, free country, quote unquote. So I should have the belief to do whatever, I vote for whoever. It's just come on now, man. Like, love to see it, though. Love to see it. And Sleepy Hollow replies and says, the old dude is dig eater. I think that Chef G was just excited, maybe, like, slightly nervous. You know, he's in, keep in mind, the guy's in front of a crowd that most likely doesn't know who he is. He's like, damn, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to make myself look dumb. This is in front of TV. Millions of people are going to see this. But in Rosenberg's reality, in his paradigm, he cannot fathom that somebody like Chef G would do this out of his own volition and actually mean it sincerely. And what does that tell you about Rosenberg? Because it's not a dig on Chef G. It's Rosenberg telling you that, yeah, if this was me, it would completely be fake. Also, I remember Rosenberg trying to get at Jay Electronica and trying to get him canceled and taken down for a bar. Jay Electronica was talking about, oh, yeah, like synagogues of Satan, something like that. And then Rosenberg was all up in arms like, yeah, you know, I was phoning people like this is unacceptable. We can't allow something like this for a bar. Like, come on. And then not to mention the whole ordeal that Rosenberg had with academics where he was just hating for no reason. Academics comes at him and straight up, honestly, embarrasses him. Even the academics haters were saying Rosenberg got embarrassed. And then Rosenberg just, not only does he seem out of touch, but it's just, you can tell that this person is a weasel. That's the best way I can put it. This is a weasel. There are certain people that they may seem nice, they may seem good, but it's conditional. And everything's conditional, but it's conditional under the terms of, hey, if you behave the way I deem you should be behaving, and if you have the views that I deem that you should be having, then everything's good. However, if you deviate from that, not only will we not be cool anymore, I will do everything in my power to sabotage you. And is that really not, a, I don't like to use the term good person, but is that a person with any type of honor or integrity? I don't know. You tell me. It's the type of person that I want to stay away from with those qualities. And of course, people will say, hey, Chef G and Sleepy Hollow are only doing that because they have pending cases. And if Trump gets into office, they might have had a deal where they're like, hey, he'll look over it. He might. Is it, is it commute your senses? No, I think they he's out on bail. Chef G's out on bail right now. So he still has a case. 
So the offer is potentially, hey, Trump can get your stuff looked over. He might hit you with a pardon if he comes into president, if you support us. And what's wrong with that? That the whole thing is not, nah, they're just doing it. Check this out. I'm going to show you. Even if, even if that was the case, it's like, you can't blame them. They're they just trying to elevate themselves and make a better change out of themselves. You can't, you can't get mad at that. Like, come on now. When it cause, no, you need an incentive to do something. They're not just going to hop out to a campaign trail to co-sign somebody for no reason. In the same way that Trump isn't going to just offer them a pardon for no reason. Like Trump offered Kodak and Lil Wayne a pardon because Kodak and I believe Lil Wayne's lawyer, Bradford Cohen, has had a long-standing relationship with Trump for almost 20 years. Hmm. So almost 20 years they've known each other, the lawyer for Wayne and Kodak. And Kodak has shown a lot of support since then. Wayne did the photo op with him. So give and take. It doesn't mean that somebody's doing it just because of a certain reason, but it was, it made sense to them to do it. And that's why they did it. And it's like, this is harming nobody. I just, I don't think Rosenberg realizes the era of 2016 to 2020, where you're trying to shame people and you're trying to make them look like they're evil for supporting a candidate that you don't like. That's up and out of here. Not only was that always corny and lame, but now the masses are starting to look at it like, yo, you're lame. We're not buying this. And to get somebody, <laughs> keep in mind, Chef G just paid a hefty penny for bail. He was going to get a bag to play on Summer Jam. So now you're taking food out of this guy's family. I don't think he got kids. So you're taking away his ability to feed himself, to keep his operation going, so he can afford these lawyers for this case that he's dealing with right now. For what? Because he did something that you don't like? Ah, huh. it sounds like you want to just own people. I think this is disgusting from Rosenberg. I hope to see an apology come from him with this. I doubt because it. to not only say this, because this is one of those times where somebody slips up. Because we know people think like this. And we know people like Rosenberg definitely think and act like this, but they don't spew it out of their mouth. Like, oh, you decided to co-sign this? So what the fuck is he even doing? What the... Nigga be weird. But yeah, I think that he, he, he just gonna talk about his character now. But that's the... Kiwi, that's the end of the video. But yeah, let me know how y'all think about that. Me personally, even if he was doing it to get his like time reducer, commute his stuff, that's still not a bad thing to do because you doing something for something else. What is that called? It's not a trick. I wouldn't say a trade, but you know, giving out your services in order to get some back. You know, that's that might be good. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm just speeding. Radio host is really out here thinking he's a thought police. I don't know what that means, but you know, people care what Hot 90s have in the cast days. <laughs> Did he expect someone to support Biden? I ain't, I ain't going to talk about that. I don't, I don't get into all that. I don't care who you vote for, but I hate people who reduce themselves to mascot for any politicians. You're corny for that. They look like they look like little punk. I don't know about that. He should have invited to have a conversation about this. I don't know about all that. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Giddy!